okay so let's uh, answer example 1.6 finding components okay letter a what are the x and y component of vector d so this one this is the vector d this one okay in figure 1.19a the magnitude of vector d is 3 okay 3 meters so that's 3 meters and the angle is 45 so the alpha it's 45 this one it's 45 letter b what are the x and y component so the uh, x and y coordinate is rotated okay of vector e okay this one is vector e okay and that is 4.5 meters and the angle beta is 37 so this is 37 so we're going to find the component okay now let's start with uh, vector d okay now i will draw a uh, this one the rectangular component or the x and y axis okay then uh, let's say this is uh, 3 meters and my scale would be para malaki 3 meter or 1 meter is equivalent to uh, or 2 meter is equivalent to uh, shall we say 1 cm Mm, baliktad uh, gawin natin 1 meter equivalent to 2 cm so it means I have if this is 3 meters in my ruler it's 6 cm so we'll measure 45 degrees okay so if you are familiar with this now no need for the protractor but uh, for, our, for the sake of discussion I will illustrate how to do it graphically so that you could imagine okay so that's the direction okay then 60 or 6 cm so that is the actual or scale size yeah. so again I'm going to find this is vector D okay and I'm going to find for the component to find for the component as discussed uh, for the B, uh, previous video this is X and this is Y so I what I need to do is to make a parallel line here okay and a parallel line here then the component now it's this one this is the component okay and this is the y component and so let's call this uh, D and this is DX and this is DY and you have here uh, this is 45 degrees Okay, now how to find for the dx and dy? Now imagine that uh, this dy, the magnitude of dy is the same as here. Okay, and if you notice, I could form a uh, triangle. If I have a triangle, I could use the Sokatoa, especially if this is a right triangle. So again, I'll be using the Sokatoa. If you're not familiar with Sokatoa, uh, what do you mean by that? It's so ka toa Okay? Sine, cosine, tangent. Opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. So, this is my uh, triangle. I have the D that is 3. Okay, so this is now the magnitude, this is vector, this is vector, the magnitude is dy, okay, uh, this is the hypotenuse, the d, 
So to find the y that is opposite, I will use the sine. Okay? So it means sine 45, this one, equals opposite, that is dy, and hypotenuse, that is 3. Okay? So the dy would now be, uh, and in this case, it's actually negative. Okay? It's negative. Why it's negative? Because it's uh, going down. It's going down. It's going down. So that is uh, negative 2.1213. Okay? Now, another solution aside from 45 is you'll base your angle here, 0, then uh, counterclockwise like that. Okay? Uh, in this case, no need for the looking at the diagram because let's see. This angle is you have 180, then you have actually this is 360 minus 45 it's uh how much that is 315 okay so 315 please compute if uh correct anyway uh, when you say sine 315 equals dy 3 automatically this would be negative so dy it's negative 2.1213 Let's see in the calculator. So you have uh, sine 315 okay, times 3. That would be negative automatic. Na. Okay. So that's the dy. Okay. That's the dy. This one. How about dx? Okay. For dx, that is adjacent. So... You have now cosine 45, then you have uh, dx and 3. Amazingly, if you notice for 45, 45, the x and y component would be the same. So, dx, it's, uh, take note, it's going to the right, so it's positive, it's not negative, 2, 1, 2, 13. Now, if you use... Uh, this one, the angle that is 315, let's see what will happen. Cosine 315 dx over 3. So now, uh, let's see. So that is cosine. So it becomes, it's positive. So if you use 315, no need for the up and down, right or left. Automatically, that is 2.1213. Okay. So, that is the uh, dx and dy component for this uh, letter A problem. Okay. Now, let's move to letter B. This is the figure. Okay. So, we call that uh, tilted. Uh, tilted coordinate system okay but from the figure i would say that that is still uh, uh, 90 degrees this one 90 degrees so okay so then beta that is uh, 37 so 37 from here so you have 37 from there okay so 37 that would be here okay so and yeah then 4.5 times 2 our scale it's uh, in every one meter you have 2 cm so you have 9 Okay, until here. There. That's your uh, vector E. There. Now, to, this is X and this is Y. To find, again, for the component, make a parallel line. Okay. 
parallel line to there and parallel line to y okay so like that then you now have uh, what's next the this is e and this is the component for ex and this one is the component for ey okay and this is 37 degrees okay now uh similar to that one you can have a triangle this one okay here oops there okay then we are going to find ey and ex ex is similar or same length okay same magnitude and same direction uh, but different placement in engineering mechanics there's a uh, difference between the location but in this case uh, let's we can move that ex so uh, how to find for ey so again so it's like this you can rotate it like that okay but uh, let's do that now 37 ex take note that is a sign why because it's opposite so sign 37 equals opposite ex over 4.5 so ex now it's and uh, is this negative or positive so let's say this is y and this is positive so this is x and this is positive meaning if my ey it's going to this direction it's positive ex is also positive so it's hard now to use this one okay it's uh, a little bit confusing so you have to look at the diagram if you are uh, have a tilted uh, coordinate system okay now the answer uh, let's compute so that is sine 37 times 4.5 so that is 2.70 ex is 2.7081 and again that is positive because it goes here okay so don't be confused don't don't just follow this this one okay kasi baka mamaya sabihin mo oh, going down it's going down so it's negative no okay this one is different compared to this one and it says here it's going down going to this one it's positive unless it says here that it's negative so yeah okay now uh, for the EY so again this is uh, adjacent so if you are adjacent you now have uh, cosine 37 E oh, sorry it should be EY EY Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, nalito na. X pala, X. Opposite. And this is EY. And you have uh, 4.5. So, uh, cosine 37. You now have 3.59. Okay? So, you have EY. That is 3.59. So, as easy as that, if you notice 3.59, almost 3.6, 3.6 times times 2 it should be 7.1 my ey is 7.1 it should be 7.1 close okay so if you have the graphical especially if you are not very familiar with analytical the first thing that you do is to have a graphical so that is for the example 1.6